After what was arguably the dumbest thing I'd ever done in my life, I now had to face the scariest part of making a stupid decision. The morning after. If only there was a morning after pill that could make yesterday's mortifying promposal disappear. Look, it's not that big of a deal, so yes, I got a prom. I think you're forgetting about the part where I got down on one knee and ripped open my shirt, not to mention the fact that I mentioned my penis at least three times. <laughs> so... Cause, cause that's not funny. It's kind of funny. Look, it's not a big deal. I bet nobody remembers what happened. Yeah, I mean, let's just go inside. YOLO, remember? That's not how... That's not how you use it. Oh yeah, and you used it right? Yeah, who says YOLO anymore? This isn't a YOLO situation! See? What did I tell you? Okay. Okay, this isn't... awful. Better look next time, Spinsley. Norma, she's in a constant state of PMS. It's not so bad, right? Actually, he was right. Other than a few weird looks and a stupid comment from Becky Tesla, there was nothing to fear. Maybe my prom disaster was blowing over faster than I thought. Hey, Brenda. So, how did you decide? Uh, what? How did you know what you wanted to did you have one of Zeke's, like, special brownies at lunch? Or I get it. I get it. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> After only two mentions of my promposal all day, I thought I was finally in the clear. And then I saw this. It all made sense now. My conversation with weird Brenda, the stairs. People thought I really had a penis. Who would have done this? Becky Tesla. I said, come count the ways. You said, no, that's okay. There are so many ways to get rejected. Becky Tesla has been the school's resident dictator since the third grade. She was always one of those girls who introduced herself by saying, I don't really get along with other girls, which is Morse code for, I'm a super bitch. And thanks to her newfound interest in ruining my life, the rumor mill was now churning for me. Uh, I heard it was huge. Eight inches. No, ten inches. I'd still do her. I heard she had it cut off as a kid. I heard she had both parts as a kid, but her parents chose to keep the penis and kept dressing her like a girl anyway. Um, 24 hours. No, see, it is important how she cooks her boot. I think Miss Sanchez is not it. one. No, but she is not one to go outside. But she ate oh it so much. Oh my god, it's like you can see the bulge through her pants. It's just my jeans. Uh, okay, Becky. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Okay, so, uh, what's, what's your deal? You know, why are you trying to ruin my friend's life? Well, maybe you should tell your friend she should think twice about who she asks to prom. Okay. Yeah, alright, that's it. Well, what are you doing? Don't worry. Get down. Just watch and learn. <clears throat> alright, excuse me, students of Moore Park. Yeah, so my friend Sam here asked Wesley Parker to prom via t-shirt, and she may or may not have mentioned her penis during said promposal. But how dare you? I mean, how dare you mock her for something that you don't even have the balls to do? And on the subject of balls, we have all heard rumors about her schlong. Well, I'm here to set the record straight. She does not have a penis. Uh, like, as far as I know, because I haven't seen what's down there or anything, but I, I think it's pretty obvious by the disproportionate D cups that she's a female. I mean, like, am I right, people? Why don't you think about that next time you want to mock her? Just think about her gigantic boobs. Well, Mackenzie's speech didn't exactly help, and Becky Tesla was still out to get me for reasons unknown. At least all of this craziness had kept my mind off of Wesley. They're real. Until now. Uh, hey, Sam, I am. Uh, what is that? I thought it'd be cool to give you a nickname. Sam, I am? Uh, turns out there's not a lot of cool stuff you can do with Sam. Yeah, no, tell me about it. 
Hey, I'm sorry about the stuff I said yesterday. You know, I, I didn't mean it. Oh, it's totally fine. I actually wanted to apologize to you for what happened. I, I wish that went down better. So, are we cool? Cool. Uh, yeah. You know me. So, cool. Good, because uh, I wanted to ask you something. Um, I've been thinking uh, you're like one of the smartest people I know, and I don't want to sound presumptuous, but I wanted to know if you wanted yes, to tutor me. Yes, I'll with you. Uh, what? I'm, I'm, I'm failing geography. What? Yeah, apparently Muslim isn't a country, so... So you want me to tutor you? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, of course. Great, you rock. So you don't want to go to prom with me? Uh, no. Oh, good. Me neither, I, so. I told you yesterday, I, I can't. Look, Sam, I have a girlfriend now. Oh, a girlfriend. I was not aware. Yeah, but I'll see you tomorrow for tutoring? Yes, of course. Awesome. A girlfriend? Since when? Since who?